Okay, in my last video, I left out a crucial step on how to actually set up your Wi-Fi credentials uh, in the ESP slip router firmware. So here I have the contents of my zip file uh, extracted to C colon backslash old net. Um, I'm going to run uh, start.bat, which is going to set up um, your packet driver and your MTCP uh, config. Okay, uh, now what we have to do is telnet into the ESP8266 and uh, set it up. So to do that, I've got uh, part of the tools in the zip file. One of them is telnet, and we're gonna telnet to the gateway, which is uh, 192.168.240.1. Uh, and the port is 7777. So we are now telnetting into, uh, we're now telnetting into the ESP8266. You see right here. And what we have to do is press Alt-E to turn on local echo and Alt-N to turn on carriage return. And uh, now uh, we have access to uh, the uh, command line interface on the ESP. You see right here, when I issue help, it's got all these set commands. You can set your SSID, set your password, set auto connect, set your bit rate, all that sort of stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're going to set SSID to uh, my SSID, and we're, and we're going to set a password to my password, and you're going to run uh, save, and then reset. And that's going to reset the modem, the uh, terminal's going to time out, and it's going to take you back to uh, the DOS terminal where you can start trying to ping some things. Okay, now that the uh, ESP is reset and Telnet is timed out, we're back at the command line. We can try to ping something. And there we go. We're getting a response back. Pretty awesome. Never thought I'd ever see internet on this computer. It's from 1986. I had this when I was a kid. Didn't even have a modem on it back then. Uh, so now we're connected. We can try doing some other stuff, like I can FTP into my local FTP server. You can see I can do a directory listing. I could even download some files, which I showed in the other video. Yeah, there you go. So I missed the crucial step, which is um, on uh, on my uh, serial to Wi-Fi adapters themselves. Um, uh, Telnet's running on it. You need to Telnet in, issue some commands to connect to the Wi-Fi. Uh, also interesting, this um, gets an IP address on your local network, of course, too. And once you've got Wi-Fi set up, you can actually Telnet into it from your local network. So you, if you want to change any config, you don't necessarily have to do it from DOS anymore. So there you go. Hope you have fun. Um, I'll put another link to that zip file in the description of this video and check it out. Thanks. Uh, also, Happy New Year, January 1st, 2022.